Bucks 2 it. That's right. Absolutely raging. Uh, Rovers coming out 2 0 losers today at Ewa Park up against Sheffield United in a game that we really were not at it at all. Sheffield United came, they saw, they took what they wanted. And a bit more, you know, two-nil winners in the end. Two goals from the veteran, masterful striker in this level, the championship, Billy Sharp. Uh, two second-half goals. Uh, but Rovers didn't really create anything. Um, it's just one of those days, one of those bland days that uh, that uh, that happens every now and again. And, and we haven't seen many of those uh, for a Rovers' point of view recently. Obviously, last season, a lot of, a lot of games that we won. Sometimes we won them ugly. Sometimes we didn't win. We won them quite quite handsomely. But today was just one of them. Uh, kind of similar to the, the game against Derby. But in the end, we did get a, game, a point out of that one. But today, it did not look like we were going to get anything. And I felt that before we even kicked off. Because Sheffield United are in, are in that sort of zone right now. They are, they, are, they are chipping away business-like performances week in, week out at the moment. I think... Uh, um, their form was was shit hot. I think they actually go top of the league right now. I think well, West Brom are losing to Sheffield Wednesday unless something happened in the last five or ten minutes. But they go top of the league, so credit to Sheffield United. Um, but yeah, yeah, they are they they played a formation that that caused us problems. Three at the back, two wing backs, uh, which caused uh, Rovers a heck lot of a heck load of issues that we couldn't deal with. They were they it felt like they were the home side today, and, you know, and we just didn't we just didn't have what it takes or we didn't adapt to to counteract that formation so hopefully Mowbray takes notes of this and, and realizes the glaringly obvious faults that uh playing up against uh, a three three at the back causes because if if teams can realize that that we play the formation that we've played um and that's what that's our tried and trusted formation and that we have difficulties with this field. Teams are going to come and, and try that out and hope, and they'll probably think that they'll get something from the from the game. So, yep, it's a bitter one. And obviously, it's a such a sucker punch because we've been unbeaten at Ewood Park for over a year now. Um, and a lot of sides have come here and not gotten anything. Well, they might have gotten a point, but, you know, we've we've managed to remain unbeaten for a long time at Ewood Park. So that streak is over. But we've got to start again. New streak, and hopefully we can start with it on the weekend up against Bolton Wanderers. Now, that game is got its own backstory, obviously. It's a bit of a derby. Uh, it's the same vein as, as Preston North End and Wigan, those sort of northwest clashes. Um, I'm not sure how they got on uh, during the midweek, so I, I, need, I need to do my homework on that. But realistically, we need to bounce back with a win. Obviously, the past couple of games... Uh, Forest was a draw uh, up against Sheffield United. It was a loss. So, you know, and I said that. I said that before this game that we would come into this, you know, at the end of the last international break up against Bristol City, we got thumped 4 1. Then there was the international break. And then these tasty, nasty four games the Villa, the Derby, the Stoke, the Forest, the four teams that were going to be competing towards top of the table that uh, we, we were probably going away with absolutely nothing from those games. But in the end, we picked up a win and three draws from those games. Um, and I guess most of the fans probably would have been feeling a bit of optimism going into this game against Sheffield United. But guess what, folks? Sheffield United got their own uh, game plan going on, and they are stuck to it like glue. Uh, and they, and they, and you know, they, despite the fact that a lot of us would have been a little bit confident going into this game, yeah, it, from within the first two or three minutes, I knew that this, 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 this is going to end not in our favour. If we were lucky, we were going to end up with a point, but. Uh, but in the end, they came home and smashed and grabbed and took all three points. And they're off to go. They're going to go back to Sheffield now with uh, with all three points and a couple goals to the name. Mowbray has to get to, back to the drawing board a little bit uh, to have a plan B if if teams come like this with this formation. Because if they do make it a regular thing, we all end up with nothing. Because obviously we have our formation, and and and, and we get, and we get results with that if it works in our favour. But today it did not work in our favour, and we looked. We looked second rate, we looked below par, and we looked bottom end of the table, you know, standard, to be honest with you. Dak had little opportunity. Graham was probably run out of puff. Brereton came on. Yes, we've got to give him credit. He is a youngster. Uh, he had the best opportunity for Rovers, but kind of squandered it. Armstrong had a couple of chances as well. But all in all, not the greatest result for Rovers. Um, but we need to bounce back at the first attempt, and that is up against Bolton on Saturday. as late kickoff. 
Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it, but it, this one sucks. This one take this one. It's going to take a little bit to get over because the the unbeaten run is over. But anyway, hopefully we'll get a detail review on the match a little bit later on with some fan input as well as words from Mowbray and all that kind of good stuff. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a good old thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, smash the old subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, whoa, football related. We've got it all here under one roof, baby. It's hot in the car. Until next time, thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.